Hey everybody, Nathan Parker here for Bow Wars and Badass Bow Hunting. We're going to do a quick review for the Nomad Scrape Series Late Season Wear. This is a full suit setup that they've just come out with for the 2019 season. We're going to break it down for you, see if this is the right fit for you. My fit, 6'1", 230 pounds. I have very long arms, long draw, long arms. This year, I wanted something a little bit more form-fitting, not just big and bulky, you know, an extra large fits X to X size, and then I kind of fit in there, but then get to swim around a little bit. I wanted to get something a little bit more form-fitting, a little bit more adjustments. So I ended up getting my hands on this set. It is the Veil Camo Whitetail um, pattern. So... Pretty nice for late season, has a lot of little open patches here too. Great for when the trees get a little bit on the bare side. Um, this is, I love from last year, I had this. This was a Nomad hat, Sherpa line Nomad hat. And I went in the woods December, January, it was cold. And this thing did not let Jack Frost bite me once. And after that, I was hooked on Sherpa lining. Well, this year they came out with this. This has Sherpa lined all the way through to the inside of the arms. So no skimping. Only area that is not is right here at this little adjuster piece. But other than that, that kind of bends off a little bit. Um, but it tucks it up nice when you draw up. It Flows with you, doesn't bunch up too much, and uh, just an excellent jacket. So, we got the hood. There's two adjustments here to bring this, to bring this down, but then there also is an adjustment on the back to make it where it does not affect your peripheral vision. So, none of that going down in the hood and only seeing a tunnel. This thing you can pop back in, and you can get that side angle view still nonetheless. Waterproofing. This is a very quiet um, material. It does have a water repellent spray that they put on it to keep it water uh, repellent for a while. But there's no plasticky membrane inside to keep it uh, keep the moisture off you. But like I said, Sherpa lined everything inside the chest pocket. Sherpa lined too as well, and also in the zippered side pockets sherpa lined also two deep pockets in here decently sized they go down all the way almost to the bottom of that we'll whip this off quick in the back has a gap for your safety strap so that right there is but when i mean you're just looking at a well-built jacket here um, I know some people are sick of guys and everything like that. Unfortunately, I couldn't. I love the Fanatic jacket, but I just couldn't spend that amount. So this was, when I looked at it, was something that I wanted to look at. And let's just say I don't, I don't have any complaints so far with it. Next, we have the bibs. These are all extra large. So with my frame, 6'1", 230. And... I have plenty of leg room down here too. So with this XL, I could probably be a 6'2", 6'3 guy and have plenty of leg space too as well. There are full zippers all the way down from the ankle to the top. Uh, same way on the other side too as well. So you can zip these on and off the tree stand, no sliding over your boots. Literally just stand in it and zip up and you're pretty much good to go. Um, one thing, a lot of hunters know what this is, these little muffs right here. You put them on, throw a hot pack in there. It's a great time. Well, you don't need that anymore. This one has a full Sherpa lined inside that throw a hot pack in there and you're good to go. Um, also too as well, here is the pockets for this. Now you're talking about Sherpa lining inside the first set of pockets there's a pocket on a pocket on a pocket this one has one button so if you need to slide something in and out you can slide your hand in there it's big enough i got big hands so yeah i can put my hands in there if you're getting cold or what 
Uh, there is this outer one too. I mean, I think this would be perfect for like a range finder, something you wanted to stand there and just, you know, and slip down in and really feel it uh, go in. Also too, there's a zipper with another pocket too as well. So there is literally this pocket, this pocket, this pocket, all stacked on each other, all with YKK zippers and just they're on both knees. So you can't go wrong. Now there's so much Sherpa lining in there. I almost feel like I have knee pads on there. It'd be great when I'm tired of dragging out my giant buck. But I mean, really when it comes down to this, you can't ask for anything better. There's a little bit of side, side flap to hide that that uh, uh, zipper head. So when you're rubbing back and forth, nothing. Like I said, I mean, there's still adjustment on here. These uh, shoulder straps here too as well. But talk about a warm setup. Right now it's outside. It's like 89 degrees and the sun's out and I wasn't going to do this video outside. But um, pretty much we'll, uh, we'll strip down here and I'll show you inside. Now a lot of, the, a lot of these... Uh, places that do the Sherpa, Sherpa lining, the Sherpa lining, Sherpa lining only sometimes do it to a certain point and then that's it. This is full all the way down, point A to point B Sherpa lining. So literally the only thing is right back here and that's on the back side is this right here, but it, it is thinsulated inside there. I can feel the thinsulate. This is right on the chest. So this is right here on the chest that that actually has that, which is kind of nice because for some reason, if not wearing an undershirt, won't chafe you, but just well made. Can't, can't argue with it. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I think they were talking, uh, per item was about 280, uh, MSRP that they're going out right now. Uh, but I mean, it's so you're talking pants jacket both 500 bucks 540 or so somewhere around there to get this but i mean talk about hopefully these last a while and the zippers hold up because it, it always makes me kind of skittish around having these full zipper setups and everything like that now on the bottom there are is a little bit of a uh overhang too as well the only one thing that I would have liked to see from these is where the head of the zipper comes into this little protective flap. I wish there was a protective flap with a snap button just to keep some of the tension off that Y point in the, in the zipper. I mean, I would have definitely liked to see that just a snap one rotate over, snap it on. It's really not that hard to do. But that was really the only qualm that I've had uh, that I would have liked to see between that. But other than that, just well built. And I can't wait to get in the late season with that. So I hope you like this kind of quick review. Hopefully that kind of brought it into a little bit of perspective of what that has and what it doesn't have. But um, like I said, we're going to be sitting in it, uh, in the tree stand this year with it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video quick and uh, have a good year.